now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes um, if you wish, yeah? You understand? Yes. Uh, so here's some paper and a pencil for making notes. And uh, here's your topic. Uh, please don't write anything on the booklet. I'd like you to describe your perfect home, Cornelia. All right? Yes. Uh, remember, you have one to two minutes for this, uh, mm -hmm. so don't worry if I stop you. Um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes. Um, so my uh, perfect home looks like a big house uh, where my uh, room is uh, situate, situated at the top of the house with uh, big windows and a balcony where I can see the nature and uh, waking wake up uh, with the sunshine. Uh, it is located in the forest or in a small town or village because I don't like um, busy places so I prefer to live in a quiet ones. Um, my perfect home contains um, of my family which is the most important part of my life. Uh, it also contains uh, animals. I uh, I would like to have a dog, which uh, would be as a boss and uh, safe guard <laughs> of my home. Uh, this uh, home that I already explained it to you is really similar to my home because I live in a small town and I live in a quite big house where my family lives with, them, with me. I have two sisters, but uh, the main difference is that I don't have a dog. I wished to have a dog, but my parents didn't want to buy it for me because they thought that it will stop being interesting for me after quite, after some time. So this is the only thing that is missing in my perfect home. Yes. Um, so, do you think you ever will live in a home like this? I hope so. Uh, I wish to live in a home like this. Mm -hmm. And have you ever been inside a home like this? Yeah, because <laughs> it looks like my home. <laughs> I have a big window and every day I'm waking up with the sunshine. 